Today's CSGO update is small, but surprisingly really important and adds some game-changing things. Some huge changes to non-prime matchmaking and players that want to play the game for free, and when it comes to investing, non-prime drops. So let's take a look at all of it, what it could mean for new players, what it means for investors, and all that good stuff. But just before we get into it, first of all, of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about CSGO investing news and just CSGO news in general. And also, let's talk about our sponsor for this video, LootBear. LootBear is a site where you can rent up to $1,200 in CSGO skins for as low as $15 a month. It's a completely trustworthy, scam-proof system that will 100% refund you your money if somebody tries to steal your items. And the best way out there to try out six skins without breaking your bank. Like, right now I'm renting out a paracord knife fade and can for the entire month or I could rent up to five skins and switch them out as many times as I want throughout the month. Like I've rented gloves, a sapphire gut knife, sick karambits, anything you could think of for dirt cheap. And the best part about it is that you could try it out completely free for 10 days if you click that link at the top of the description. So be sure to check out Loop Bear today. But for now, Let's get right into the video. First, let's talk about the matchmaking changes before we get into the case drops. It's actually a change that I feel like I've been asking for since CSGO went free to play initially and is well needed in my eyes. But first, non-prime status accounts will no longer earn XP, ranks, skill groups, item drops, which we'll talk about more in detail later on, or prime status throughout playtime. Non-Prime accounts won't be able to participate in ranked matches and also won't be able to activate bonus rank XP items and can no longer claim service medals. So the feature of getting a non-Prime account to rank 21 to become a Prime account is no longer a thing at all. You can't rank up on it. This is a really great feature, honestly. The amount of low rank clearly just bought accounts that just got rank 21 to play matchmaking that I always play against and are just blatantly cheating is something that really plagues matchmaking. And although this update won't do anything about the accounts that already exist that are like that, they're now completely prevented in the future, which should make prime matchmaking a lot less cheater infested, which is obviously something the community has been asking for for ages. And this is a huge step in the right direction. So because of this, new free-to-play accounts will be placed in unranked matches. They have the option to queue unranked for competitive, wingman, and danger zone, so they aren't left out of any of the main features in the game. It's still skill-based matchmaking apparently as well. So I guess there's some hidden ranking system integrated in it as well, but the unranked matches don't affect skill group and have no skill group party restrictions. So if you're like most of the CS community and play competitive, it's just that except 5v5 and rank isn't affected because it's unranked, but be warned if you are prime and queue into the non-prime 5v5 competitive, I can pretty much guarantee you're probably going to be playing a lot more cheaters because even though it is unranked, it can be a mix of prime and unprime and the unprime accounts brand new are just probably going to be cheating or incredibly sketchy as they usually are. But the good thing about it is if you have a new friend to the game who just wants to try it out and is debating getting prime or not, you could play with them. But I mean, if you're solo queuing unranked to play against non-prime accounts, you're probably a psychopath and probably going to play against an entire lobby of cheaters. So if you want to do that, go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. So now that all these non-prime changes have happened, CSGO devs also stated that there's no longer non-prime drops. So what does that mean for the non-prime drop pool? Because if you didn't know there's a prime drop pool with cases that are dropped to the majority of players, a non-prime drop pool, which were cases to non-prime players, but less in supply than the regular prime drop pool because there's a lot less non-prime players, and then the rare drop pool, which is important because a lot or potentially all of the non-prime drops could just get moved to the rare drop pool right now because of this update. But it's not necessarily confirmed yet. All of them can be moved to the prime drop pool. We don't really know. But as of right now, looking at the case drops channel in the CSGO market forum discord, it doesn't look like they're added to the prime pool. Now, maybe it's possible that they'll get added tomorrow or they'll be spread out and added to the pool or something weird like that. So prices aren't just completely destroyed, but it literally just looks like it's something we will have to wait out and see to find out. Because as of now, it looks like they're all in the rare drop pool. But the thing is, 
The Prisma case getting moved directly to the rear drop wall just a few weeks ago actually makes sense now. Valve had never moved a case from the prime drop wall directly to the rear drop wall before, and I guess this is why they were kind of alluding to this happening. So if all the non-prime drops are in the rear drop wall now, if you're invested in any of them, you could be sitting on a gold mine. But once again, don't get too far ahead of yourselves uh, like I did, which we're going to get into in a second. We'll just have to wait and see to find out. But let's just say, personally, I'm fine with gambling some money in hopes that they're discontinued. Needless to say, I bought uh, a few CS20 cases for myself. But keep in mind, I have the mind of a r slash Wall Street bets ape. So if I get hit hard, at least I did it for content. I did it for, what are they, don't they say like 10 Bs on there? I don't even know what that means. That is definitely the Wall Street bets mindset, but not really the CSGO scene uh, mindset. But if you want to go ahead and buy 1500 CS20 cases like me, don't be surprised if they sit at 10 cents like they've been sitting at for the past few months. But in my eyes, I think there's a lot more potential than there was now. So they could be good, they could not be. Who knows? It's an investment. But besides all that, I think that does pretty much wrap it up for this video. So as per usual, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss out on any future CSGO investing news or CSGO news in general. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.